Hello, in this video I will show you how to use the regex function in Google Sheets. The regex function is very useful and it allows us to manipulate data in many different ways. It's, it has three basic forms, uh, regex drag, regex replace and regex match. The most popular ones are regex drag and regex replace. They can be very complex and they can have a pretty complicated syntax, but this is an introductory video, so I will keep things very simple and just focus on the basics. Let's start with the regextract function. In this data file, I have a list of all of the schools in the state of Georgia and the amount of money that they spend per student. And if I want to do any calculations with these amounts of money, I will not be able to do it because notice that the numbers are preceded by the dollar signs and the dollar signs are not given by the format of the cells but they are actually characters or string characters that are typed in here so I have string character mixed with numbers in here so before I do any calculations I would have to extract only the numbers from from these fields so let's try to do that using the reg extract function so let's say that in this cell i want to extract the numbers from the cell f f2 so i'm going to type equal and then reg extract remember that google sheets is going to recognize what you're trying to type and give you a different option so I'm going to select reg extract and first I have to indicate the field that I want to use for extraction which in this case is going to be F2 and then comma and then quotation marks and then I have to specify what I want to extract in my case I want to extract the numerical values, right? And one way to specify numerical values or the code for that is to use square brackets and then 0 to 9. So any values between 0 and 9. Let's close the square brackets for now. Close the quotation marks and the parentheses and click enter. So Notice that I am receiving the first digit of this number. And this is because the regex function returns the first character that meets this uh, criteria. Um, but what I need is all of the digits, right? Not just the first one. And to indicate that, all I have to do is type plus after this. So, and then click enter. And notice that now I have all of the numbers, all of the integer at least. Now, before I move on, another way to indicate that you want all of the digits is to use another symbol, and that is the letter D. So I'm going to replace 0 to 9 to the letter D. But not just the letter D, the letter D preceded by slash. If I only type D, then it's going to look for the letter, actual letter D. But I want to indicate that I'm looking for digits. Here, D is a code for digits. And if I'm using the slash, I am telling um, Google Sheets that this is a code. So I am going to use all of the digits and the plus sign indicates that I want um, all of the numbers, not just the first one, and then click enter. So notice that now I am getting the same result. But as you may have noticed already, I am only getting the integers but not the decimal, right? So to do that, I am going to return here and I want to see if I can get the decimal point and then the digits that follow the decimal point. So I'm going to type slash point 
and then again slash the plus. And the reason I'm doing that is because the slash D indicates that I want the decimal point. Just the point in itself indicates one, one character, any character. But if I use the slash before that, it tells Google Sheets that I want to use the actual point. And then all the digits that follow after that. And then enter. And notice that now I have the entire number without the dollar sign. And of course, I can drag this all the way down to obtain the same result for all of the observations in my data. Now, let's say that I want to transform the data in another way. And um, let's say that, for instance, I want to um, change the name of the school systems. Notice that some of them end with the word county. And let's say that I want to um, uh, change these names and use the word school system instead of county. So to do that, I can use the regex replace function. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in this column, the column H. So I'm going to type equal regex. This time I'm selecting regex replace. And this one is more simple. I just have to indicate the field that I want to use. Then the expression, the regular expression that I'm looking for, which is county. And let's say that I want to replace that with school system. And then close parenthesis. So first I'm specifying the field that I want to use for searching, then the regular expression that I'm looking for, and then the expression that I want to use for replacement or as a replacement. So I'm going to click enter and notice that um, the word county was replaced with the word school system. And if I just check this button, it's going to do the same change for all of the observations in my data. But before I do that, let's demonstrate how to do something else. Let's say that maybe I just want to get rid of the word county and not do anything else and not put anything as a replacement. So if I want to do that, I can just use empty quotation marks. So closing quotations and ending quotations and then enter. And notice that now I just have the first word without anything else. And if I drag this down, it's going to do the same thing for all of the observations in my data set. Now, of course, you can probably do the same thing with the find and replace function, but uh, the regex replace um, function is very useful because it's a lot more flexible. It allows the inclusion of other functions in uh, some coding, so it is a little bit more complex than just a regular find and replace.